build your very own automatic music player. The first thing is of course your motherboard. So I'm quickly going to grab my motherboard. Here I've got six ports on it. I can connect any of my sensors or actuators to these six ports. The Bluetooth on my motherboard will help me connect to my Android device. The next thing I'll need is a sensor. So, my automatic music player should be able to sense every time I walk into the room. And for that, let's use a PIR sensor or the passive infrared sensor. So here's what it looks like. I'm quickly going to grab my PIR sensor and an RJ cable to connect it to my motherboard. Once you have all of this, go ahead and make the connections. So, it's extremely simple. Grab your cable and plug it into the PIR sensor. Now, use any one of the six ports on your motherboard. I'm going to use port number one. But you could use any of the ports. But make sure you remember the port that you use. Once you've done this, you're done connecting. Go ahead and design and program your app. So to start designing your app, log on to www.stemdesi.in. So let's start designing. The first thing I'm going to do is quickly add Bluetooth connectivity and a list picker. Once I've added Bluetooth connectivity, I'm going to go ahead and check the panel on the left. From the Qt Pi Mega Block section, I'm going to drag and drop a PIR sensor. Make sure you give it a port number and Bluetooth connectivity. Once you do this, head over to the media panel. From the media panel, drag and drop the player. The player will let you play any sorts of audio that you might upload while creating your app. So, Quickly give this a source file or an audio file and set a volume that you desire. Once you've done this, don't forget to add a notifier. If you'd like, you could add some images or labels onto your screen to make it look better. Now I'm going to go ahead and program my app. To start programming your app, check the backpack on the top right corner of your screen. I'm quickly going to drag and drop the Bluetooth connectivity blocks from my backpack. So here's my before picking and after picking block. Once I've added these blocks, I'm going to go ahead and program the PIR sensor. Now quickly head over to the PIR sensor on the left and drag and drop the on change event. This event is triggered every time the value Sensed by the PIR sensor changes. Now, quickly add an if then else block inside the PIR sensor on change event. Once you do this, add the condition. So, we're going to create a condition using the PIR value read to find out the value of the PIR sensor. We're going to check if that value is equal to true. If it is true, you're going to go ahead and do this. That is, the start procedure will start playing the audio that you have uploaded in the design of your app. I've also added a label and image element onto my designer. So, I'm quickly going to set that using the text element. So, this is what you must do if the condition is true. That means, if the PIR sensor value is true, you won't start the audio. Else, this is what you do. You call the stop procedure. The stop procedure will stop the audio or the music. Also, if you've added any other elements like me, probably a label or an image, go ahead and change the values too. So, I'm going to make my label say nothing and my image to none. Once you've done this, you're done programming your app. Go ahead and check how it works. Okay, so here's the dance hall I've built. I've put my PIR sensor inside this and here's my motherboard. Every time I place my hand inside the hall, the music must start. 
I've connected my app to my motherboard. There you go, works like a charm. Let's try again. Okay then, see you guys!